All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, peace, and blessing to all you hopeful elect brothers out there. It's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother of by Ayasha, the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come on another episode of Get Your Mind Right. Today we're going to be dealing with the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has pronounced evil against thee. That's why you see so much judgment going out here on this earth, in this universe. Because why? The Lord has pronounced evil against you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, with all the children of Israel, and against you heathens, you other nations outside of Israel that the Lord don't love. See what I'm saying? Because of why? Of all your wickedness. Look what's going on. You just celebrated Easter. Now you're finna go into the Queen of Heaven worship, which is what? Mother's Day. Then you finna celebrate Memorial Day. Then you finna celebrate the 4th of July and all these other wicked pagan holidays. Instead of giving the glory and praise to who? The Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Who the word is called God and Jesus Christ, which are two separate entities. But see, that's part of the, the evil too that you all do because you want to come up with your own doctrine and your own beliefs. You know what I'm saying? To uh, mislead the people instead of teaching them the truth of who they are. So you rather give praise and glory to who? Satan, your father. See what I'm saying? So this is Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 17. It says, for the Lord of hosts, which is the Lord of armies, that planted thee, hath pronounced evil against thee, for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal. So you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans, what you, what you have done is you have literally pissed the Lord off. Why? Because you made sacrifices to who? Baal, a.k.a. Satan. Which is what? You you offering a, a, a sacrifice up to these false gods here in ba Babylon and across the globe. So you done pissed the Lord off. Y'all out here committing adultery. Y'all out here robbing each other. Y'all out here calling yourself hustling, selling poison to each other. Y'all out here doing all manner of wickedness you know what I'm saying ha parents having sex with their kids parents killing their kids kids killing their parents kids having sex with their parents kids being sodomites part of the alphabet community that's you offering your body up as a sacrifice to who by all another name for Satan when you're offering up incense to something you're actually worshiping it. You're, you're, you're praising it. You're honoring it. You're glorifying it as a God. And that's what you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans do. Even when you call yourself uh, idolizing, like, especially women, idolizing Beyonce, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Glorilla, uh, who else? Uh, what's the girl named Spice something? Uh, all these low-level hood rat thoughts out here in Babylon. You idolize them. You try to live your life as them so you could be a thought. So you could be out here chasing a bag, getting money for men for sex. That's you offering yourself up as, as an incense or a sacrifice to Satan. You men, what are you doing? You out here committing adultery. You out here worshiping other gods, praising false gods, two chains, Lil, Lil Wayne, Money Bad Yo, all these these nonsense entertainers. You see what I'm saying? You offering your body up as a sacrifice to your God by all. Bowing down praising Esau, the so called white man. You bowing down to him so you could get fame, fortune, and riches. And you wonder why the Lord pronounced evil against you. We're going to read that again in Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 17. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee, who gave us life, Yahweh Shai, 
It says, who planted thee. So when a person plants something, that means what? He's in control of you. He's nurturing you. He's guiding you. He's making sure you get all the proper nutrients and, and food and vitamins that you need to grow up strong and healthy. That's what the Lord does for us. But instead, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you'd rather give praise to who? Esau, so-called white man, because he gave you what? Section 8, food stamps, Medicaid, see what I'm saying? PPP loans, see what I'm saying? All this other nonsense, birthday parties, holidays, you know what I'm saying? You're able to basically do what you want to do here in Babylon. If you want to marry a tree, you can. If you want to have sex with a caterpillar, you can here in Babylon. So you praise him as a what? As a God. You So you offer incense to who? Baal, which is Satan. Anything that goes against the word of Yahweh Bashim Shah, guess what? It's wicked and evil. Even the food you eat. Having seafood boils, eating crab, shrimp, lobster, octopus, which they call the calamari. You know, eating squid, uh, caviar. All this old nonsense, pork, especially pork. Oh my goodness, pork. You offering yourself as a living sacrifice to Baal. You light incense to it when you're acknowledging it and worshiping it as a god. It says, For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil, which is what? Bad times against thee. That's why you're seeing a lot, a lot more people now. Dying at a high rate, whether it's car crashes, gunshots to the face, you know what I'm saying, drowning in a lake, or uh, 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 what do you call it, a retention uh, pond, getting robbed, getting beat up, dogs attacking, stuff falling out the sky, hitting you upside the head, killing you. The Lord has pronounced evil and destroying you people in many different strange ways. But it's not all this, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those are what? Spirits created for vengeance. And they doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It said that they shall appease the wrath of him that sent them. So they're pleasing the Lord in the works that they doing that the Lord told them to do. They're pleasing the Lord in doing that. So when your baby, uh, Earl Earl Jr., fall out the crib and crack his neck, hey, those are the spirits that's, that's carrying out the duties of you. How about shooting out a shot? And it pleases the Lord. Why? Because Earl Jr. was wicked back in his former life. So he's here on earth now playing out his role to get his judgment. That's why he's back on his earth to what? Receive his judgment again. Some of y'all can't swallow that. That's a hard pill for y'all to swallow. Because why? You don't understand the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A lot of you women out here, man, y'all, phew, the Lord is bringing a lot of judgment on y'all. A lot of y'all still is waiting in line to receive your ultimate judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A lot of y'all are just flat out rebellious and disrespectful and need to be put down like a, a mad, sick, rabid dog. Cause that's what some of y'all are. <laughs> what did uh old boy call him on baby boy? I ain't gonna call you no no bitch. I'm gonna call you an unstable creature. Cause y'all is unstable creatures. You can't make your mind up for nothing except for what something that's w wicked and evil. To do good, you have no knowledge. Like I tell you in Jeremiah four and twenty two. Y'all don't have no no knowledge of doing what's right, man. Look at that. See that. That's wickedness right there, right there. See what I'm saying? Drinking milk after you won a race. That's an honor of a, of a of a God. I forgot the name of that God too. But anyway, like I was saying, back to you women, you thoughts, you rebellious whores, you unstable creatures. The Lord is bringing heavy judgment on y'all. A lot of y'all women had men of the Lord. Men that was going deliver you, you know what I'm saying, get you salvation, but instead, y'all threw that away, that wasn't exciting enough for you, you'd rather go slob on the, on the, the nut sex of, of, of Pookie down the street that don't give two 
dams about you. You said the men of the Lord is boring. Or boring. <laughs> when all they trying to do is what? Live right to get delivered and get you delivered. But you too dumb to realize that. That's why a lot of y'all women are, are facing the judgments from Yahweh by Shem that he shouted that he pronounced against y'all. So a lot of y'all are dying in horrible ways. <laughs> why? Because that's the evil that the Lord pronounced against y'all. Because y'all lighting incense to who? Baal, a.k.a. Satan. You see what I'm saying? So it says back in Jeremiah eleven seventeen, For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which is what? Both kingdoms, the northern and southern kingdom of Israel, which they have done against themselves. See, you ain't doing nothing but wrong in your own soul. It says to provoke me to anger and offer an incense unto Baal. So you piss the Lord off. Because we're supposed to be the, the bride to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's why the scriptures say the jealousy is the rage of a man. Why? Because you done pissed the Lord. Man, look here. We ain't supposed to be calling on no other gods, man. But that's what you people are doing. You putting Esau up as a god over Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Therefore, the Lord is angry. Therefore, you're going to feel the wrath of the Lord. Point of blame, period. It's very simple. One plus one is two. Not 18. See what I'm saying? So you people out there, man, you better get it right before the Lord come and lay you down, man. You see what I'm saying? Before you get your grass mowed, physically and spiritually. <laughs> you better stop offering incense to Baal and turn back to the true power, Yahweh who the word ignorantly called God, and Yahweh Shai, his son, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. See what I'm saying? So with that, above, above, shall I want.